We're on it. The biggest team, the biggest coverage. This is Fox 31 Morning News. The dating pool's pretty tight. The whole reason I signed up for this journey was to find love. A sweet girl to share the sunset with. Seems like a simple ask, right? New at 9, a sneak peek at the brand new season of the hit dating show here on Fox, Farmer Wants a Wife, premiering actually right here on Fox. And that was Colorado native Brandon Rogers right there, who you got the opportunity to look for love. Oh, guess what? He's sitting right next to us. Yeah, he's here in the studio talking about, no doubt, a unique experience. Always cool to highlight a Coloradan on a national show. So it follows four bachelor farmers who are looking for a wife. And these are just... Uh, you know, fellow farmer women. These are <laughs> these are city girls. Farmer women. Farmer. Yeah. Are they city girls? Is that who, who's on the show? Yeah. You know, there is some dynamic where there are some country women that sure. come okay. on the show, but most yeah. definitely they're trying to uh, introduce women from the city to that country lifestyle. You are a legit farmer from uh, Center, Colorado, and I want to rewind a little bit. How did you even get yourself into this? Uh, my stepsister called one day and she's like, hey, there's a show that's casting. Uh, and you said? I don't know. I don't know about that. You know, it's a little different than farming. So, yes. But she pushed hard enough and I ended up filling out the application. Just kind of thought I was throwing my name in the hat and here we are. Wow. Yeah. No, because you're like no chance in heck they're going to, oh, you know. Oh, absolutely. I mean. Millions of people probably apply. Yeah. This yeah. show is actually multinational. It's in 32 different countries. Yeah. So. For the U.S., all of these applications, all these farmers and ranchers, I was just like, yeah, no way, yeah. you know. I'll fill it out just to appease her, <laughs> and here we are. Well, take us to your farm, where you're from, and you've been farming your whole life, right? Correct, yep. Uh, went to college for a little bit and then moved home with my family and started farming. I've been at it for about 10 years now. Uh, center, Colorado, a town of 1,200 people. And we have one stoplight, if you even call it a stoplight. It's, it's <laughs> a, a post light. with a blinking light. <laughs> yeah, so. I'm from a town like that, too. Yeah. I know what that's like. Well, and, and, you know, a lot of people watch these reality shows and are very cynical and think, well, this, this, these aren't real farmers. Mm -hmm. This is legit. I mean, yeah. you, you're literally just looking for a, a woman, and this was a path to maybe possibly find that. Yeah, I mean, dating in a small town is very hard. I'm sure. <laughs> Nobody's moving there by any means, you know, and most people move out once they You know they graduate. everybody. Absolutely. So it was a great opportunity to, you know, try to test the waters in love and see what happens. So what was it like showing these mostly city girls the country life? What, what were they so surprised by or what were you surprised by? Um, that's a great question. <laughs> it, it, it is, it's I, such I a can great, tell you're being careful about answering answer. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's a great dynamic because it's something that they're very interested in. Yeah. I felt like all the ladies that were yeah. on this show were very interested in Western living. Yeah. But once you get out there and kind of realize what it's like, it's awesome. It's awesome, <laughs> but it's different than what yeah. they're used to. And they it's thoroughly enjoyed it. You know? <laughs> it was great, but can't wait to watch. It's going to be fun to watch, and it's a. Uh, it's a treat. For any, sure. any, since it's really cold out there in center on a very regular basis, any tips for staying warm in this cold temperatures we're dealing with? Because this ain't nothing for you guys. Yeah, I mean, we're constantly battling for the lowest temp in the state with Gunnison. <laughs> yeah. uh, make sure you got your long johns on, you know, and layer appropriately. Layer for it up. Sure. Layer People want to watch the show? Starts, when does it start? February 1st. February 1st. February 1st okay. On Fox. Um, Look for Brandon. Yeah. There we go. I hope Every you, Thursday. Can't wait to find out. I hope you found yourself I'll be found rooting for you, man. I'll be rooting for <laughs> you. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right, 918 right now. And let's get out to Drew. Speaking of cold, we stuck him out there. <laughs> sure uh, did. We wanted you to be a bit of a popsicle this well, morning. Well, and I didn't listen to Farmer Brandon wear my long johns yeah. today. I no. should have. I've got dress pants on, Not and enough. I decided to Not throw enough. on the beanie. I don't care if my hair is messed up, to be honest with you, because it's so cold out here. It's not the temperature, it's the wind chill. I mean, the temperature is frigid, no doubt about it, but it's the wind chill that really bites at you when you come out here. So yes, they sent me out here in the seven o'clock hour, Kirk dared our producer in the nine o'clock hour to send me out here, and I'm back out here on the weather deck. But like I said, I don't care if my hair is messed up. I put on a beanie this time, Kylie, and you know I literally just booked a flight to Mexico <laughs> because of this weather. More than what four days of below yep. freezing. I feel like the flight deals are coming at a good time. Also, yeah. Drew still only has one glove. Drew, put the hand in the pocket. 